Please stand behind the lines. This match starts in three, two, one, crescendo! Here at the last match of round two, the winner will move on to match 11. And the losing alliance will move on to match 10 to face alliance number one. And at the conclusion of the autonomous period, this is the 10 point differential. Blue Alliance with the advantage, 41 to 31. Blue Alliance now heading straight into the amp, right behind Red Alliance, who has a slight time advantage. But look at that, 133, duking it out with Buck's Wrath to try and take that note. And they've got it, but amplification has begun for the Red Alliance. And Burt running away, they've got a note in possession. They're gonna try and score that. They get 10 more points right there. Wired Boar is having put one up. Burt looking for another one. There's enough time. Can they go for four? There's a note out in the midfield. They might be able to get it. Not quite enough time, but they'll go straight for the amp. Team Inconceivable has got a note. Uh, they may be waiting for amplification, but they're trying to slow down Burt. The amplification is ready for red and blue. Who's gonna hit that button first? Looks like Blue Alliance, but Red Alliance right behind them. There's 10 points for Red. Blue Alliance unable to get to the speaker with notes to fully capitalize on that amplification cycle. Buck's Wrath, though, making it 15 in that one. Right now, very close, 73 to 70 in favor of Blue. 17-29, playing stellar defense against the Blue Alliance as they are slowing them down but not quite enough. Blue Alliance with a one point advantage and they are ready to amplify. But right there, Red Alliance is amplified. Blue Alliance is scoring right behind them. A broken note goes flying and wild. Red Alliance now seizing the advantage up 92 to 79 with 31 seconds on the board. 40-48 looking to close the gap now for Blue. Unamplified scoring will be slower. There goes 40-48. Putting in another one and 131 hitting the trap. Uh oh, they were hung up on the trap, but they have done it perfectly, as does Burt up on the Blue Alliance side. Blue Alliance with a spotlight robot and two traps completed with 4048 in the air. All six robots are in the air. Blue Alliance has two traps and the spotlight robot. And here we go, is it going to be red or blue? It's going to be Red Alliance with the win. And Red Alliance will be heading off to match number 11. The Blue Alliance will be staying in the tournament, of course, but they'll be heading down into the lower bracket to meet Alliance number one. Let's